All right, guys, where are we today? Helsinki. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Matthew, and today we're going to the Suomenlinna Sea Fortress today here in Helsinki, Finland. We're gonna go ahead and find some sort of transportation, probably a taxi or a bus or something that's gonna take us over to the market square here in Helsinki. And from there, we're gonna take a ferry over to the sea fortress. And there's a lot of stuff to look at and do on the island. So let's get started. All right, so getting off the ship, you've got a few options. If you have an excursion, you're gonna head over to one area and they'll direct you. Or you can grab a taxi right here. Um, we decided to walk. I'm unsure of the taxi rates. And they do have a spot for hop on, hop off buses as well. Uh, right over there, you can see. So that's always an option too. But we decided we're gonna walk it. So we're gonna go this way, look for a bus stop, head into the city. Google Maps will be our friend today to get us where we need to go. As Jamie mentioned, Google Maps is our best friend today. So we are walking up the street. I feel like we're the only ones out here. Uh, no one's really left the port except for some of the excursion buses and people on the hop on and off bus. But take a look here. We're walking just down the street here. We're walking and it's kind of, I guess, an industrial type area. And it's just us. So hopefully we'll find the bus stop in about six minutes and hop on it and head on over to the ferries. All right, we found the spot here for the, I thought it was a bus, it's actually a tram. It's considered a tram here. I think we're gonna take the number six over to the uh, location of the ferries. There's these little machines here. They're little kiosks where you can purchase your tickets. Let me show you here, Jamie's purchasing them right now. Okay, so we figured things out. First off, it was amazing, there's a button for English. So the same ticket's gonna work, it looks like, for any different method uh, that you're gonna use. We're looking to get a day ticket for all of us. It's uh, three adults and two uh, children because uh, the girls are, are 15 and 17, so that's a little savings right there. And we're gonna get a group ticket because we'll be traveling as a group all, the whole way. And so it looks like it's 36 euros all together for the day ticket. And uh, you can just use a credit card uh, as usual, use a credit card with no foreign transaction fees, so you're good to go. Save a little money there. And we should be able to pop this bad boy in here, remove card, and take your ticket. Perfect. So we have our tram tickets. We're going to sit down and wait. Uh, the next tram is in about probably close to about 10 minutes right now. Another thing too is that the color coding here seems to match that on Google Maps. So we, ha we uh, our closest was the green, uh, which signified the tram here. And that is indeed what it is we are going to be getting on the tram here. So you can see uh, whatever you got on Google Maps, if it shows up here in Helsinki as purple, that's probably a train, blue bus, green tram, uh, orange is M, whatever that is. And then of course the light blue there is what looks like probably a ferry. So we're on the tram here and wow it is so clean and there's lots of seat seating right here right now. I don't know um, you know if as the day goes on if it gets a little more crowded, if more locals take it or if it's just more to for tourists. Uh, but anyways, it's not crowded, it's very clean, and one thing we noticed, we did read this before and it appears to be true, is you get your tickets, but you don't really have to show them when you get on board. But you do need to make sure you get them because if you get caught without a ticket, if they do happen to come around and ask, it's a pretty hefty fine from what I understand. So make sure you are honest and purchase your tickets before getting on. Well, it looks like we definitely found the right spot here. A pretty easy process getting from our cruise ship down here to the Market Square. And it's a Saturday and this place is packed. There are people everywhere. Uh, there's music playing. People are eating, drinking, being merry. Uh, even just from this spot here, I can see a hundred tents. All right, so we think we have spotted where we need to be uh, at the HSL Ferry location to get the ferry over to the Suomalina Island, also known as Sea Fortress. But that's where we're going right there. See, we've been pronouncing it pretty good, right? Suomelina. 
The grill is open, the sun market in Finland is open, salmon soup, sausage meal, uh, kebab, anos kebab meal, uh, sausage and fries, pike perch meal, three fish dish. That's the kind of stuff they got down here. It all looks, I don't know, I guess depending on who you are, it might look delicious or it may not, I'm not sure, but I think it looks great. I can't wait to try some of it. Oh my God, they got the reindeer hot dog, salmon burger, reindeer burger. Fat Pete's burger, oh, beer, they got it all. Oh my gosh, a reindeer burger. Reindeer sausage, reindeer mix. It all looks so good. All right, now I showed you what I was interested in, but I think Sharon found her spot. Mini pancakes with ice cream, berries, and fruit. Ice cream cup with toppings, oh boy. It looks like we'll be stopping here later. They got lots of shopping going on here as well as the food. Did you guys see the pancakes covered in ice cream stand back there? It looked unbelievable. More shopping over here. Oh, very cool stuff right here. All right, so we made it here onto the ferry. Uh, so the ferry is labeled Swimming Lina, but also Sviaborg, which is the Swedish uh, name for the fortress and was the historical name before Finland gained its independence. Uh, but anyway, so we are here on the ferry. Our tram day pass ticket that we used earlier also works for the ferry here. So I assume when you get a day pass uh, using those, you're going to get a day pass for all different kinds of transportation that are shown on there. So that's going to include buses, trams, uh, ferries, trains, and, and etc. So uh, one day pass is going to get you all the different transportation throughout the city, which is very cool. The little ferry here leaves in about eight or nine minutes, so we're just going to park it here, get a great view coming into Spoma Molina, and uh, we can't wait to get over that island, but take a look at what's going on around us right now. Swimmelina. Swimmelina. Let's just call it the sea fortress, shall we? So yes, we did make it. We checked out the signage here, pointed us in the right direction, gave us a QR code for a map, pointing out all the popular, the hot spots here on the, on the sea fortress island. And right here you've got the, uh, although the sign says restaurant brewery, also the visitor center in here. So Matthew has scored a map. Matthew, what are the hot spots you're seeing right there? Uh, there's uh, various different museums, which are pretty cool, so definitely uh, top of the list and things to go take a look at here. Um, just shows a map of the whole island in general, so different places, uh, transportation, museums. Uh, there's various restaurants, cafes, and bars. They even have hotels on here, right, so people can spend time on the island, maybe a couple days or so. Otherwise, places to get some souvenirs, so, you know, I'd say that's, uh, that's pretty good. We are right here. That's where our ferry came in we're gonna poke around a little bit maybe follow the blue line make our way around right now we're in the pink plastered uh, jetty barracks building it's called the main gateway to uh, Swamalina's Russian period the barracks were built as a main guardhouse for the fortress so we are starting walking around uh, the fort here the fortress area and just kind of checking different areas out and the first thing we came to was a hostel and a villa here so if you're over here you can stay here Right here is the Sumanlina Church. It was built by the Russians in the 1800s during their time of uh, owning Finland and subsequently the island here. Um, and so then it was built as a Russian Orthodox church, although uh, after Finland gained its independence, it was repurposed into a Lutheran church. This 
is the military museum here on the Yipsu and Lina Island. It looks like a lot of World War II history um, here. So there's a lot of stuff uh, like German, Soviet, Finnish stuff. Finland was a part of World War II. They did fight uh, both in the Winter War against the Soviet Union and also fought um, during the German invasion of Russia. Uh, they did fight against Russia, although not technically on Germany's side specifically, but just to fight against the Soviet Union. Uh, and so uh, this is just a lot of uh, museum stuff here uh, for that time period. All right, so now we're heading over to the King's Gate here on the southeastern part of the island. It's one of the main uh, attractions here at the Suomenlina. Uh, and so we'll learn the history of that area. And then also there seems to be a lot of uh, barricades and fortress related stuff down there based on what it shows on the map. So we'll probably see most of like the main fortress area of the Suomenlina. So there it is, the King's Gate. We made it. Well, amazing time here on this island. We'll see a few more things on the way out, but what a great, great day we had. Thank you, Matthew, for turning us on to this place. Um, the culture, the history, uh, what can you say? It's what Europe's all about, and we're learning so much about it, so uh, it really means a lot to us. And of course, before we leave the island, one quick pit stop for Sharon in her natural habitat. Crikey's! They're Sharon in their natural habitat doing a little shopping here in Helsinki, Finland. Look at her go. Look at her go. And just like that, we are back here uh, at the ferry departure spot. Ferry coming in right now. We're going to head back to the mainland, do a little more shopping on the way out, maybe grab something tasty to eat, but what an amazing day we had. We made it. Riley and I made it. Oh, yeah, and the other guys made it too. They're right behind us. Made it back onto the ferry. We're heading back to the mainland. And uh, we're just going to say goodbye to Molina. Beautiful, beautiful island. You know you're getting back into port when you see the Ferris wheel texture behind it and a fun hangout oh and there's Sharon right there too so you know you're back in port with her we got some clouds in the distance there that could affect our walk back to the ship but right here we saw it earlier big old beach club going on well, one last run through the souvenirs for the family here they just can't get enough of the stuff can't get enough of the stuff. All right, they're making a run this way. Fine, let's go. Let's go, fam. Keep it going, because one of us, that's right, one of us, wants to get a little local snacky poo before he heads back to the cruise ship. Reindeer hot dog, please. All right, well, they have the food area here. I mean, there is some wild, wild local. Oh, is that a bumblebee on my head? Um, there's some wild, wild stuff. I mean, a lot of fish, a lot of herring type meals and all that. I want to keep it a little simple, just something easy to eat. So I went with the old reindeer hot dog. That's right, guys, reindeer hot dog. It's um, Rudolph, whatever. Sorry, Rudolph. Mm. Mustard, roasted onions, it's good stuff. Well, we're saying our last goodbyes to the market place area down here the market square what a great trip we had over to that island Sharon how are you feeling right now are you exhausted or are you ready for more um, a, a little a little of both I am exhausted but I am always ready for more all right there you go well if you take a look there is the ship and uh, this will tell you just how close the tram stop was. That's where we started out this morning. Well, there she is, the Carnival Pride. We are almost there. We are almost there. I don't think she's going to leave without us. Not today, Carnival Pride. Not today. Well, we are back. We're on our balcony. We just made our way back from Sumalina, the Sea Fortress. I think that's how you say it. Um, what an amazing day. Each day keeps getting better and better. I don't know if they plan it this way by the ports, but I mean, we really enjoyed ourselves today. And one, I guess one key to enjoying ourselves was that we 
kind of did it on our own. We got off the ship, we took a tram, we walked to the tram, took the tram uh, into uh, town there. We hopped on the ferry, took the ferry over to the Sea Fortress on our own and did the same way back. And it just kind of makes you feel like you're not any kind of time crunch, time schedule with other people. So you just kind of can do your own thing. And that's what we really enjoy. What a day. Everyone enjoy themselves. And now we're going to rest up, go to dinner, and get ready for another day. We'll be in Sweden tomorrow, Stockholm, Sweden. And we're looking forward to that. We have another day where we're kind of venturing out and doing things on our own as well. And so I know it's going to be a good one. So if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click that button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you'll get notified when we post new content. And um, we'll, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy cruising.